Stampers, Deb Velder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach. Today I'd like to show you a new spin on modeling paste. Today I'm going to show you how to color it and add a little bit of glitter to it to make this beautiful, absolutely beautiful card. So let's start with the modeling paste first so it has time to dry while we're working on the rest of our card. So let me just grab my, my um, whipped cream cardstock and that is four and three quarters by three and a half and... I'm going to mix up my modeling paste. Now, I've already done three of the colors for you. You can use as many or as little as you want, but I decided I wanted to use four different colors. So I'm going to take my modeling paste and my spatula, and I'm just going to grab just a dollop of it. A little bit, of, a little bit goes a very long way, especially when you're doing this kind of stuff here. All right, so I'm going to grab that. So I want to bring this in because... I don't think you could see it when I first did this, so I just want to bring this in and show you exactly how I did it. So I took my modeling paste, I'm going to take a dollop of the paste. You really don't need a lot. Okay, so I'm going to take that and then I'm going to take my lemongrass and add that. And lemongrass is a little bit darker, so you don't need as much. But watch what I do. You really want to blend this in good. And again, I keep telling you, it's just like when you frost a cake. This is, this is like making the frosting for the cake. And you just want to make sure that it ends up in a good place. All blended nicely. All right? And make sure you clean off your spatula here. It's a lot easier to keep it going. So that's what it looks like, okay? You're going to lay your stencil right over the top of your piece right here, okay? And then you're just going to start grabbing colors. So I already have the, um, the lemongrass on here, and I only want a little bit of lemongrass because um, it's a bit darker than the other colors, so I don't want it to overpower my other colors. Now you'll also notice that I'm not going to the edge on this, and I think that just gives it a little bit more character. All right, so there's that. Now in between, you want to make sure you have a clean spatula. So I just cleaned that off with a little bit of, um, with just a paper towel. All right, and then let's add this one right here is our pineapple smoothie, and I just put it on one an old block that I had, um, and I'm using that as my little palette, which I thought really um, repurposed it well. All right, and I'm going to just take and clean this off. You see how I'm kind of blending them together? You can overlap just a little bit, not too much, because you don't want to muddy up the colors, but it just blends together so nicely. All right, so there we have our bubble gum, and we will top it off with a little bit of our cool pool. Right around here, just like this. All right, you want to make sure that it's smooth so that there's no ridges or anything on the outside of it. I'm just adding a little bit of cool pool everywhere because I think that's such a neat color. All right, so we've got that. We're going to clean off our little palette. And the sooner you can clean off your um, stencil, the better. But because I'm doing this, oh my goodness, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, now I'm going to grab my... Um, my sparkle dust, which is my glitter. I'm going to bring that in. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that I can add a little bit of glitter and sparkle to this. Now, I always put my glitter inside one of these Pampered Chef containers, and it just works really, really well. Um, it gives it a nice, even, smooth um, layer to it. All right? And then just tap off the excess, and we're going to set this side to dry. How fast and cool was that? The texture on this is just absolutely breathtaking. Um, it just gives it such a, a raised effect to it. All right, so I'm going to let that, I'm going to set that side um, to dry, and the next thing that we're going to do is to emboss our little image right here. So I'm going to just take my cardstock, I'm going to grab the um, clear pigment ink, and my black embossing powder. All right, so now I need my stamp that goes along with this. And we're just inking up the stamp with the clear pigment ink. I'm actually going to do it twice. I figure if I'm going to take and make a card, I might as well make a couple of them because I always do that. And if the image doesn't come out, I don't have to re-ink it. All right, so I just inked up two of them. I only need one for this card, but like I said, I like to, to double duty it here. All right, and then I'm just going to take my um, black embossing powder and set this aside right there. And we're going to throw my embossing powder right on here. All right. 
All right, there's one. Good, good. And then here is my second one. And then we'll just get the heat gun going. And whoops, made a little bit of a mess here. Okay. Let's just grab, let's make sure we got good coverage on all of that. We do. And now it's time to heat emboss. All right, before I do that, I am going to just get rid of all this excess embossing powder. That's what they make vacuums for. All righty, so we have um, a nice clean desk again. Not a floor, but we have a nice clean desk. All right, let me get my embossing gun going. There we go. We've got everything all heated up and ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and just cut this little piece out. I could cut it with my cutter, but it's just as fast cutting it with our scissors. All right, so I'm just going to cut this out really quick, close to the line. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's going to blend in with the black cardstock. And these are our super duper scissors. Okay, there's that. And our last side right here. Good. Let me just grab. I just have an edge right here. Alrighty. So now we have our little background. Alright, so let's add this piece to our black licorice. Okay. Now that we have our piece all um, adhered together. Now what I need to do is to color it. So again, I took another one of my old blocks and um, just added some re-inkers to them. The other thing I added was my True uh, Fusion Blender and um, that is actually my uh, blending agent. Okay, so I have here some bubble gum. I, I kind of took the colors that came from the background right here and um, I added those to my, my color palette right here and I'm just going to take and start coloring things in. So this is my medium blending brush. I can use just about um, e any one of the three, but I'm just going to take some of the blue and really um, just blend this background. I like to give it um, quite a bit of the blending solution because I just want it to look like it's just, you know, basically just clouds. Alright, so it's just going to be very fast. And the more, the more that I take and blend with it, the faster and easier it goes. Alright, and then if there's any spots that I missed or need to touch up, I can go back and just touch them up afterwards. And I'm doing this pretty darn fast, so um, you can see, just it, this is not a hard card. It's a pretty easy, fast card. You see how that just kind of gives it some little swirls in the background? Just like that. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, now let's take and uh, clean off my brush just a little bit. And I think we'll start now with her skin. So I'm going to use some bubble gum, picking up my um, blending fusion first, and then just quickly just, let's see, this is her cheeks and her face. I think we have a little bit of hair right up in, her face right up in there. And this does let, um, dry lighter, so don't worry about how dark it looks right now. She's got an off-the-shoulder shirt right here, so we need to color her shoulder right here. And... That's another shoulder, and here's her hand, right up in there, and her neck. Oh gosh, don't forget her neck. All right, just easy, easy, easy. Okay, all righty, I think we got just about everything we need to as far as she goes. And now let's work on her, um, let's work on her shirt. Okay, she's got the off-the-shoulder shirt going here. I'm going to show you how we're going to go back in and just blend a little bit more after this dries a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with some dark without as much blending solution in there and it's just going to blend and I'm going to feather it out into into her the rest of her shirt. Alright, we're going to do a little bit darker up here. There we go. See, and as it dries, it's going to all blend together. Now I'm going to go back in with some of the bubble gum and do the same exact thing. Right underneath here, she's got a little bit of a shadow because her neck and her chin 
are in, in different locations, all right? And I think we can put a little bit right here. You can go in and play with this as much as you want. I'm not going to fuss with it too much, only because I want to really get back to putting our, all, our card together. Now I'm just adding a little bit of oatmeal here, oatmeal cookie, all right, just, just to give it a base, leaving some white, and then I'll go in with some of my hazelnut, because I love those colors, and just kind of blend around the background. All right, I did emboss this, remember, so it doesn't run, it doesn't, uh, okay, so I think we got just about everything that we need to right there. Um, like I said, I can go back in and touch it up. I, I just wanted to kind of give you the basics, but that's our little piece right there. Now I'm going to let that dry just a little bit while I start putting the rest of my card together. So I have my card base. I'm going to bring that in with my black piece. Now you know me, I always take and cut out the center so that I can use them for other things. I hate wasting paper. So let's just add a little bit of adhesive right here. All right, and this is our Easy Glide right here and right here. Okay, we're just going to center that right on there. And now I'm going to bring in that beautiful piece. It should be dry by now. It doesn't take very long to dry. Um, so I'm just going to bring my piece back in. It would be right here. And I'm going to just glue that over this right here. And the reason I'm putting the adhesive on here is because I'm not sure if it's totally dry. So I just want to make sure that I don't uh, ruin it. Okay, so there's that. Now what we're going to do is add this piece right here. But you'll notice behind it I have some, um, some of our thread. I just love that thread and what we can do with it. So the first thing that we need to do is to grab our... Um, our uh, foam squares, okay, and I'm getting the medium-sized ones, all right, we have small and medium, and I'm just going to grab the medium-sized ones, I'm going to put one on each corner, whoops, and then I'm going to put a couple in the middle, now you're probably saying that's overkill, but watch what I'm going to do, let's take off the tops to these, and You're going to see what I'm going to do with the thread. I'm going to take my thread and just start making circles. Okay. Just like that. So this is my lemongrass thread. Matches our ink that I used. And then I'll just take some of our bubblegum thread and do the exact same thing. Now, you see why um, I didn't overkill? This you're going to use. Now, when you get done adding some thread like this to it, it's really going to take up a lot of the sticky on um, these little pop dots. So I wanted the, the security of the other ones, all right? So that's enough right there, just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. And now, all I have to do is add that to this little piece right here. All right, just like that, and I added these on this side. And the last thing that I did before, you know, to finish up the card, to give it a little bit more bling, was to add this little sparkle drop. And I'm just going to take the large or the smallest of our sparkle drops and add it to. Let's see, here we are. Let's add it to the middle of the camera, and that just gives it a little bit more bling, right here. See. Isn't that absolutely adorable? So this is how you color modeling paste. I hope you enjoyed my post for today. If you have any questions, hop on over to my blog and take care and have a great day.